Tomorrow, 10 women, ages 18 to 24, will move into the former parsonage next to the Magnolia Avenue United Methodist Church to learn how to survive and succeed through face-based training and support. Six on your side reporter, Naomi Hilmer, joins us now live in the studio with more on that story. Dawn, the former parsonage will be called the Hope House, a new ministry for young women without housing in Knoxville. I visited the house today to see how they're preparing for their new arrivals. The new United Methodist Church was closed and condemned. Then Pastor Tim Jackson came along. Even after turning this church into what it is today, Jackson wanted to do more, starting with the growing housing and homelessness problem in Knoxville. There's a reason why we have so many homeless here in Knoxville, because a lot of people aren't doing anything about it. Jackson grew up facing homelessness himself. I did not have a strong home environment and identity with which to draw upon. Didn't have an education. Um, I didn't have job training, so I know what that looks like. And he is not the only person on the Hope House team who has experienced homelessness. We, we kind of understand what it means to give love and encouragement support to homeless people, but also to help them define their identity and their purpose. Over the past three months, they have taken the home, usually living quarters for the pastor, and have reimagined the space to help homeless women in Knoxville, providing them a home, education, jobs, and stable lives. We know um, our county and city mayor know that homelessness is a huge issue here in Knoxville. Almost 3,000 people homeless in the Knoxville community. 700 of those who are currently homeless in Knoxville are kids 18 to 24. So we want to do our part as the United Methodist Church through Magnolia to, to meet that need, to give those, those young people a home and hope and a future. The creation of the Hope House has been a citywide project, with them getting help from other churches, the Knoxville Community Action Committee, and Knoxville's Community Development Corporation. We have received so much love, encouragement, and support to make this happen. I mean, this is a labor of love from people across Knoxville. And they hope their labor of love provides a safe space for women who will be moving in this week and years to come. My hope and prayer is that this is a place of peace for them. It won't be easy, but it will be very good. In Knoxville, Naomi Homer, WATE 6 on your side. Naomi, thank you. The house is part of a multi-stage plan with phase one dedicated to giving young women in our community a healthy home, a place to be, right? Stage two is to make similar homes for young homeless men in our community, which they plan to open next December.